and ask for when making a decision like that. Uh, okay, this is a really great question. Um, do you believe we should expect the private sector to be ethical? So I think there is kind of a, I don't know if it's a split or a cultural thing about the way companies should behave. And here's the reality about private companies in a free market capitalist system is that they have a fiduciary, and this is especially true, this is actually true of private companies with investors and private companies as well, but public companies especially have a fiduciary obligation first and foremost to their shareholders. There is a shareholder agreement that says that the corporate executives of the company and the board of directors of the company are going to act in the best interest of shareholders, okay? So what does that mean? That means that they are going to seek to maximize profitability, maximize return on capital to shareholders ahead of say other stakeholders. And yes, that could mean keeping employees happy and making sure you retain the best elements of your workforce. So you're gonna raise wages in order to keep employer, employees happy but you're also going to seek to recover those raises in wages by say raising prices and trying to maximize profitability. That doesn't mean that a company is behaving unethically, right? Their ethical obligation, let me make this very clear, the ethical obligation of companies in the private sector is to they have a fiduciary responsibility, that's a legal term, to maximize the return on capital to their shareholders, okay? That is their ethical obligation. Their ethical obligation is not to um, save the planet. Their ethical obligation is not to um, lower prices for their customers. Their ethical obligation is not to employ as many people as possible. That is not the way companies operate in the private sector, in a capitalist system, in a free market. Now, you may take ethical um, objection, I guess, to elements of that system, but you can't take, make ethical objection to companies operating within that system because that is the way that system works, if that makes sense. So, you know, private sector companies who have a fiduciary responsibility to maximize profitability for their shareholders, um, they are not nonprofit organizations, all right? They are not charities. Um, and so I think that we need to better understand that as a you know, public, that they, that's just not the way that they work. And so, yes, they may choose to do some of those things in order to, for example, um, maybe that's what their customers are demanding. And so by taking on some of those social, moral, cultural obligations, they are maintaining and keeping their customer base happy and therefore that increases their revenue. Um, so that some of that is definitely going on. Um, however, their primary objective, first and foremost, that is a legal responsibility by their shareholder agreement, which every company has, right? Like when a company goes public, um, the IPO prospectus is essentially a legal document known as a shareholder agreement. Um, and even before companies go public, when companies are private, when venture capitalist investors are investing in startups and private companies, they have shareholder agreements too. And those agreements all are working towards kind of a common purpose. Like people do not invest in private sector companies as charities. They just don't. Um, and so I think that's something that's very important to understand. And you could even take this to yourself, like personally, right? Like, you're saving for retirement. Exactly. Somebody's saying they are not nonprofits. 100%. It's important to understand that. Like, you are not interested in putting your money in a company 
who instead of maximizing your return on investment that's going to generate your income, your passive income in retirement, instead of doing that, that they decide, you know what, we are going to seek to be profit neutral in order to serve some underserved population in their local economy, right? Like you're not gonna invest in that company. Instead, you're gonna take that money and put it somewhere else. Um, now, you may have a portion of your personal finances every year that you use to support um, charitable goals and charitable organizations that are important to you. That's your decision as an individual, right? Um, but it is not a private sector for-profit company's objective or goal, nor is it an agreement with their shareholder agreement for them to say, you know what, we're going to make this decision for you. That's just not their role in the economy and society. And so it's important to understand that, I think. So in terms of should we not expect companies in the private sector to be quote unquote ethical, they are being ethical in terms of fulfilling their primary um, responsibility, which is their fiduciary obligation to shareholders. And so I think that's important to understand. Somebody else is saying pension funds invest in these companies. Yeah, that's another thing that I think many people don't understand. Um, you know, they give like, comp you know, they give the, the corporate sector, the private sector, um, big, big companies. And then they also kind of ridicule like hedge funds and investment managers. And what you may not understand is that all of those people are managing the financial futures of everyday individuals because pension funds are invested in those companies. So if you're a police officer, if you're a fire, um, if you're a firefighter, if you're a teacher, um, your public pension is likely invested in many of these companies. And so their success and their future um, is intrinsically linked to your future retirement. Um, just so that you understand that. And the same is true of like many hedge funds. Like, um, anyway, just something that people I think need to better understand in terms of, now, if you have an ethical dilemma with the capitalist system, like that's a different argument, but you can't fault companies operating within that system for fulfilling their primary obligations. Now, are there individuals, and this is, I think, true in any country, in any regard, right? There's always going to be people who act unethically. Um, there are always going to be people who commit fraud, and that's why we have a legal system to ferret that out, right? So, but in general, remember that the ethical obligation of a for-profit company is to maximize profits to their shareholders, period, full stop. So just anyway, great question. Um, but I hope that the way that I explained it kind of makes, helps you understand and sets your expectations appropriately. Um, 